Hello, in this video we are going to have a look at some different UI elements. So we've been looking at the navigation bar, the table view, so the bars over here, the table view here. Now we are going to have a look at the button, the segmented control, uh, the text field, the switch, uh, I don't remember the name, sorry. Uh, this is the progress view. Uh, here is the stepper, the page, uh, the map view, the menu popular, and some picker here. So um, there are quite quite a lot. So here is the picker. So you will note that some UI elements are editable in what we call the live preview. So for example, the the, the picker. I double tap, I can use it like a real picker. And I can, of course, edit the picker. I can add a new row. This one is empty, so I'm gonna add an item over there like apple. Okay, I'm gonna add also oranges. Oranges, like this. <clears throat> And I can, you know, I can do that. And this will be reflected when you exit the screen. <clears throat> now let's have a look at the map view over here. I'm gonna select all of these, move them around. I'm gonna select the map view. So this is the real map element. So I can double tap and then I can zoom in. I can also change the style from standard to satellite to hybrid. I'm gonna stick with standard. I can also edit it like you know, you can either double tap or tap the edit button and it's gonna you know bring you to the same thing. I can go over here and it's pretty good. And then I can use the location on. <clears throat> so basically this will add your location find your location. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm not going to show you where I live. So um, that's the map view. Now let's have a look at the page control. So the page control, you can see, I can only see just one dot. That's because that's the default state. So the selected dot, I'm going to change the color to this yellow and the normal dot, I'm going to change it to, um, you know, maybe this orange or light orange, maybe like that. Yeah cool. I can add the number of page I want. I can select another page. So I'm going to change it so it's more obvious. Yeah, more like that. And I can basically, you know, it's the real UI element. So it's good. Now let's have a look at another one, the menu popover. So the menu popover is exactly what is displayed here when I tap on an empty area when I select an object and then I tap again. So that's a menu popover on a menu popover. So it's working pretty much as you would expect. You can add a button. You can move the arrow, the arrow, sorry. You can move the arrow, you can place it wherever you want. So that's pretty much, you know, what you would expect from, you know, from that kind of, um, of UI, you can place it like that. You can really customize it to your need. Now the stepper, the stepper can be changed with the tint option over here, or, you know, as I said before, it's going to be in the same, um, you know, bunch of UI that are directly um, targeted by the general tint option that you can find here. So here you see all these UI elements over there are affected by the tint option at the level of the screen. So here is the segmented control, the button, everything. So I'm going to remove the link just so you can see better indicator on. I can change the color of on and off, but this particular UI is not affected. That's not the default behavior for this uh, for this component. So um, as you can see, nothing is selected. 
go to the property bar at the bottom left corner there is the tint option when I change that color all the UI that I you know that are in front of me have their color changed um, this is the progress view I can change the value of the progress view I can go to 70 or I can go to 50 oops sorry I'm gonna go back go to 50 I can change what's the minimum color and I can change what the maximum color as you can see it's uh, red and blue um, I can go to this picker and I can double tap on it and then move it around just like I want, just for my need now I can take the segmented control I can add items like that I can then you know customize them how I want and this button here is a um, is a real button that you can find inside uh, the SDK inside Xcode you can of course choose choose a target you can change the font the size and everything you like you can change the style also you can change the corner radius you can change the corner the, the border color you can change the background color so it's really the button that you would expect uh, to use and you can also make the alignment here the horizontal alignment uh, a bit like you know like you want um, this is when you have um, when you want to set a different inset so I usually don't use that because I'm in a mock-up state but sometimes you may need to move the button you know from the left side about 16 pixels so that's uh, that's how you that's how you do that uh, you can also place an image inside the button so I'm going to use an image select an image go to the iPad library select the fruit and tag this uh, this fruit here and because I have a background I don't see it no I don't know what's happening here oh no tint image yeah that, that was that sorry so I can um, use the an image and here it is I have a button I can choose a target and that's pretty much it uh, you may want to use that when your designer already made the button and you're going to use that button here I personally don't use that very often so I recommend you to stick with that you know simple button that looks like you know the iOS 7 stuff and I'm gonna select this I'm gonna remove them delete I'm gonna delete that too and I'm gonna take it a bit sometimes to talk about the text field so the text field is can be only a single line you can have the clear button you can center the text or align it and you can also have it like with the little bezel line or none I usually stick with the rounded rectangle which is like you know the default state and um, it's pretty much you know the way users you know, um, will wait for it will wait for it sir and I think that's pretty much it let's have a look at uh, another one a last one that you can find only when you are in the iPad mockup which is the popover here at the bottom of the widget list so um, as you can see it's it's translucent and it's translucent but not only when I add a popover it also add a rectangle that fills the entire screen and this rectangle is a 15% here opacity I don't know if you see the opacity here so basically that's two different objects because as you can see when I use a popover you see how the um, the, um, the entire screen here is getting darkened a little bit you see the difference so that's exactly what we reproduced inside our cooker reproduce the same behavior so now you just have to move it around I can change the arrow can you know put it on the left side right side etc and then you have to customize it so for example I'm gonna I'm gonna do that I'm gonna 
bring that down. I'm going to take this, bring it up. Now I'm going to put it here. As you can see, the snap to guide option is a little bit bothering me right now, but I'm going to put it snap off. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to move it here. It's pretty good. And I can then group those two and I can scale them like this. So that's super handy when you are designing um, an interface. And that's it for the UI elements. So note that all the UI elements that we've seen here, the widget list here, you can find the same in the wireframe options. But there are two, there are three more. They are here the image placeholder, the music placeholder, and the video placeholder. So you may want to sometimes use an image placeholder like this and put it like, you know, if it was on a popover. And that's it. Thanks for watching.